Well, the fight for delegates in the Republican race just keeps getting uglier with each state we look into. We told you last night about members of the Missouri GOP admitting to attempting to shape the outcome of delegates at the state caucus on Saturday. And tonight, new video out of the state of Georgia this time where the same thing has happened. Ben has the reality check. I've told you that this is the real March Madness. In January, February, and early March, saw a lot of straw poll contests in the Republican race. But it is in the months of March and April when those states hold the contests that really matter, the delegate selection caucuses. And thanks to cell phone video, we're getting a whole new look at how dirty these contests can be. Take a look, this is video from the athens Clark County, Georgia GOP Delegate Selection Caucus. As I've told you, these caucus meetings should be pretty relaxed because a very clear process of rules is supposed to be followed. Robert's Rules of Order. Now, the video I'm about to show you, it takes place as a member of the nominating committee is reading off a list of names for nomination as delegates. Once the list is read, members of the caucus are supposed to vote on whether they want to accept that slate of delegates or not accept it. They can also make motions from the floor regarding the list. So here's what happens. We will have the reading uh, from the nominations committee. Marvin Brown and James Garland. I move the slate be accepted. Second. 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 So just to keep things clear, the list of nominations is read. And then the chairman gets a motion to accept. That's correct. Then a second from the floor. That's also correct. He then calls for those in favor to say aye. Those against no. All of the correct procedures. But now, here's where we get off the rails. Division. 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 So why are they yelling division? Now, if you're rusty on your Robert's Rules of Order, let me explain. A division is to call for a vote, or more specifically, to call for a division of the assembly. The purpose for calling for the division of the assembly is to secure an accurate count of the vote, especially when the vote has been taken by voice, as was the case here. It provides for a standing vote. A division does not need a motion. You see, anyone can call for it from the floor. It can be demanded even after a motion carries. You see, this allows absolute clarity about how many are voting yay, they all stand and are counted, and then how many members are voting against, they all stand and are counted. Pretty simple stuff here. So back to the video. What does the chairman, who under the rules has no authority to deny that count, have to say? No, I call the question the, um, the chair. I, I, I'd appeal from the distance. You know the chair? Second. 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 This is to discuss the uh, conventions now closed. I'm Division. Sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, you count the odds. Uh, the list is uh, present at this and time. And you are jeopardizing all of the delegates from this precinct. If you have any questions, feel free to discuss this with the Georgia GOP Secretary, John Padgett. Thank you all for coming, and uh, we'll be in touch. And there you have it. As the call for division is made over and over and over again, instead of carrying out a simple head count of people in the room, which would have taken all of 30 seconds, the chair simply says, I'm sorry, we're done. I talked with Frankie Brown, who was at that meeting. She says the majority of people in the room were against that slate of delegates, and because the meeting was improperly conducted and adjourned, those who were calling for division, well, they have now created their own slate of delegates, which they have sent to the state party. We convened the next day, and we followed every single rule to the letter, and we submitted our legal slate of delegates to the uh, Georgia State GOP. So now what they have from athens Clark County is an illegal slate of delegates from their, uh, from their friends who uh, run the GOP here in Athens, and then they have a legally voted on slate of delegates from us. <laughs> So here's what you need to know. Those voters in Athens and Clark County, they are now looking for a lawyer. And they're willing to sue, they say, to require that their vote is not stolen. Athens and Clark County, though, isn't alone. Also in Fulton County, Georgia, and in Carroll County, Georgia, same issues took place. And the response by the GOP leadership in these districts, it's essentially the same thing. They're trying to make sure, they say, that these caucuses aren't taken over and that delegates are selected fairly. But where they're off base... The only fair process is one where the caucus goer who takes the time to become engaged in the process, who's willing to show up and who votes according to the rules, is heard. And that is Reality Check.